Can a butler have a private life? I guess that this is a question that relates to the older image of the butler. The days where butlers and other servants were working in bigger households and had a live-in position. Did you know, by the way, that around the 1900s, almost 800,000 families in England employed some sort of servant? Not always a butler, but it could well be a maid. These maids were often not living in the house. But to come back to your question, can a butler have a private life? My full answer is yes. I'm actually living proof. When I worked as a butler, my family joined me and we were living off the premises. Let's have a look at a number of my former students. We have one person who left for China in 2013, a few days after the training in fact. He was single at the time and met a lady over there. He worked in the region for a number of years and had a little girl with this lady. He now works again in Europe for a family and brought his family over from China. As I record this, he lives with the family on the domain of the principal. And I see from time to time posts on social media of them having a great time as a family. So as you can see, it is perfectly possible. Another student we have works for a high-level principal in France and travels a lot. Mostly he works for about 20 days in a row and then gets a 10-day holiday period. Not really a 9-to-5 job. What I'm trying to explain is that the job of a butler is the one you choose. It is up to you to choose the family as much as the family chooses you. Our recruitment department is doing an amazing job in coupling butlers to families. It is a very long process to find the right person for the right family. It may very well be that you don't want to work in a family with certain animals or with small children or a certain religion or you don't want to work in a certain part of the world. That is your very good right. If you look at your day job, it's a bit the same. We have students starting the day at 7 a.m. and going home at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. We also have others working 15 hours a day or more. Again, this is the choice you make. Obviously, there needs to be a good understanding from the start of the employment. It is, of course, not the goal of agreeing to working eight hours and ending up with a schedule of 15 hours for the same salary. That is why we train our students on how to make these agreements. You can understand that the job of a butler is not like any other, where you go into the office every day with a fixed way of working. It is a much more flexible job. So the life you want is the one you decide on. You want to travel a lot? You can do that. You want your family with you? You can do that. You want to work long hours? You can do that. It's all up to you and how you negotiate. Best of luck.